Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a magical week so far. Now, today's video is going to be a Disney Store unboxing. There's no Mickeys on this box this time, which makes me really, really sad, actually. It's just got the tape on it and my address on the other side. Um, it's a humongous box. It's really, really big. It basically fills the screen. Thank you, Hermes, for my damaged box, too. It means a lot. Thank you. And... Yeah, it's going to be a Disney Store unboxing. I ordered these things at the end of June and they arrived like within about a week. But before I get into the unboxing, I actually have three other random items to show you first. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So first up, I have two Funko Pops. Now, I always said I was not collecting Funko Pops. I wanted one Belle one, which was the from the princess set and I got her and then it kind of didn't stop. But it's basically, my collection is just Bells slash Beauty and the Beast. And the first one I have is Belle with Lumiere. And the second one I have is Village Belle. And these are both from the live action movie. So these are numbers 248 and 249. So I'll show you this one first. So here she is holding Lumiere. She has some detail on her goldy yellow dress and she's just the cutest thing ever. I got this one off a page on Facebook. Um, Funko Pop UK was the page on Facebook. I paid 10 pounds for her. So that is her, she's absolutely adorable. But even cuter than that one is Village Belle. These are obviously from the live action movie. I adore this outfit that Emma Watson wore. I will apologize for any glare because yeah, it's really sunny and the sun is shining through the window here today. So yeah, I absolutely adore this one. This is number 249 and the other one I got was 248. So this is the collection here on the back. I own, um, what is he? Beast and I own Celebration Bell and I now own these two down here. So yeah, that is those. Very happy. Um, I got her off a website called collect.co.uk. Um, fantastic. Um, they let you know when it's dispatched. They message you on like, Messenger as well to tell you if you could connect through Facebook and um, to tell you when your things are being sent and everything like that Which was really really good and loads of different options for postage depending on how much you can be bothered to pay for postage So I was very happy with that the final item before the Disney store unboxing is Primark Bambi throw I Really really wanted this throw. I don't know why I wanted it I just thought it was just so damn adorable and so damn cute this is the pattern on it, so it's basically just Bambi and Thumper. Unfortunately, things don't focus on here properly because it's just my iPhone. But yeah, this was um, six pounds. Um, I paid 11 on a Facebook group. I think it was through, ooh, there's a few Facebook groups I used to be on. This. Could have been Disney Store and Primark pickups, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, you have to pay when you use the Facebook groups for postage and PayPal fees and things like that. So £11, yeah, I guess it's not too bad, um, all in all. And it's, it's so damn cute. I know it's summer, but I, I just wanted it before it went out of stock, basically. So I'm happy I got this. So thank you very much. So now on to the beastly box, <laughs> the Disney Store unboxing. I, yeah, I, I know what's in here obviously I placed the order. Um, obviously I have my little, you know, everything I bought. I did get some bits in the sale, I will say that much. Um, so where am I going to start? Okay, I think I'll just start with this first. So first up I got another shopper bag. If you watched my previous Disney Store haul, um, you'll know that I may have had like five shopper bags in that one so may as well add to the collection i got the star wars rogue one shopper bag i actually this is probably one of my favorite star wars movies now um absolutely love it just all of them are just amazing and the bad guy is just, yeah you, you really don't like him i can't remember his name mind but yeah i like that it's a different pattern on both sides as well we've got the same pattern on the sides but that doesn't matter uh, and this was £2.10 in the sale. It was supposed to be £3, but it was reduced to £2.10. This has the Disney Store logo, and yes, highly recommend it. Highly recommend this movie because it doesn't actually feel like a Star Wars movie. It sounds stupid. Um, it kind of feels like a war movie, 
Ultra, definitely check it out. Seriously. Okay, so now I've got a little bag of goodies. Now I just think I know what's inside this little bag of goodies. Mm, yay! Okay, so this is a pin. I don't normally buy random pins that aren't like Beauty and the Beast or related to a trip, but it was in the sale and I kind of couldn't help myself. So I got this limited edition Cruella DeVille pin. Actually does look so much better in person. On the website, her face looked funny, like blurred out, but her face looks proper angry here. It's not gonna focus at all. No, it's not, but you, you get the gist of it, don't you? Yeah, she's just a blurry mess on here, but yeah, it's actually a really big pin as well. So this was supposed to be £9 and it was down to £6.30. So I thought for the limited edition pin, that is good going. So that is Cruella. Right. Uh, this next two items are Tsum Tsums. So first up, Lightning McQueen. I am not the greatest Cars fan in the world, but these Tsum Tsums did look beyond cute and beyond adorable, so I kind of couldn't help myself. So, I just got the one Cars one. And to be fair, they do make really good Tsum Tsums. I'm not a fan of this new Tsum Tsum label that they've had out for a few months now, like, I'm really not a fan of it. But the Tsum Tsum, he is adorable. And the final Tsum Tsum I got is Flynn Rider from the Tangled Ever After, like the TV series that I've not watched. The original Flynn Rider that they released back when, you know, they originally released the Tangled series, I think looks really, really bad. And this one looks so, so good. The hair's spot on, he's got his little goatee, he's got his, like, the smolder, and his satchel is, like, actually 3D. On his side so yeah I think this one is so much better and I'm not bothered that it's from a different like collection he's going with my Rapunzel because he looks really good um, these obviously were both three pounds I'm so happy I got this item but I don't actually know why I got this item this item is part of the animators collection oh did I just ruin it oh well it's the owl <laughs> from Sleeping Beauty I don't know why I got it. I honestly don't know why. I seem to have this little Beauty, is it Beauty and the Beast? Sleeping Beauty collection sort of going on and I'm not quite sure why. Um, I think it's just because obviously Disneyland Paris is like my home park and it's obviously Sleeping Beauty's castle and I've got like Tsum Tsums and like the Aurora plush and I'm like, yeah, let's get the Owl plush to go with her because he is literally the cutest thing ever. This was only 7 99 as well. To be fair, he's probably a little bit shorter than I thought he was gonna be. Because he is oh, about the same size as this box, yeah. But he's really, really cute, and the detail is really good on him as well. And it's he's really soft, actually. This is like a velvet, um, but yeah, he's like really, really good. Obviously, no stamp. It's the new lovely mm, Disney Store tag, and obviously he's got his um, animators collection label, just that says Owl, and obviously we have Little Briar Rose on there. But yeah, for $7.99, I thought he was a bargain, so I'm really happy with that. So that is oh well. Oh, I forgot to put in put this in with my Tsum Tsum stuff. Oh well. Um, this next item is a set of six. I got the Disney Store 30th anniversary Tsum Tsums, basically. I tried like pulling them out, but I don't really want to open the box or anything like that. So I can show you what they look like on the back. It's basically just an old cast member uniform, as far as I'm aware. So we just have Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, Donald, and Daisy. Um, full price, this was supposed to be $19.99. In the sale, it was reduced to $13.99. On one particular day, they had 10% off, so I think I paid like $12.59. Although the day after that 10% off thing, they reduced it to $9.99, so I could have saved even more money, but yeah, it is really, really cute, to be fair. Although Pluto's like facing down the way. Don't face down the way, Pluto. But yeah, I think it's just, it's so cute. And the box isn't damaged or anything at all, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So that's these. Uh, these are still in stock on the website, by the way. And finally, I come to two other boxes. 
I'll go with this one first because I picked this one out first. Okay. Ooh. I'm not too sure which one this is. Uh, yes. This is the animators mason jar style mug and we have three of them on it so we have cinderella village bell and jasmine and it's actually really big mug so it got a proper good handle on it it might not be the easiest to drink out of with obviously you know this round the rim um, this was 9.99 which I think is pretty good value for the size of it as well so I'm really happy with this um yeah I think it looks amazing and I just want to point out I'm not an animators collection fan I literally only own these two items from it I'm not bothered about the rest or the plushes or you know the princess ones or anything like that I just really like the style of this I thought it was really really cool and different as well so that's why I got this so this was 9.99 should still be available on the Disney store website so have a look and the final one I know what this one is now because I know that that one came first. If you've watched my channel before, you know who my favourite is, my favourite movie. Ooh. So this is Belle. This is the new princess in mugs, and there is four in this collection. There is Belle, Rapunzel, Ariel, and Jasmine. Jasmine's a bit of a random choice, but it's good, it's good. So there is a design on both sides. So we have this design on one side. She looks so stunning. And then on the other side, it says Belle, and she's reading a book on her village outfit. I love this color of blue. Not so keen on the pink on the inside, but it says around the rim, sometimes the best teacup is chipped. So that is that one. And yeah, I absolutely love this. As far as I'm aware, these princess mugs are all still available as well online. So do check out also your Disney stores too. My local one closed down. So I'm really sad about that. So more Disney store orders. <laughs> um, and this one was $8.99. So I'm really happy with this. I'm happy with both mugs. I like all of them. I think that they're both amazing. I'm so happy. The collection just keeps growing and growing and growing. And they're both really heavy, actually. This one feels really thick. So yeah, that is these. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed my Disney store unboxing video with my little few random items at the start. If you did, it would mean the world if you could give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below some of your favourite items from all of this because I think I actually did not too bad, especially considering some things were actually in the sale and obviously Little Simpsons are only £3 each. Um, yeah, so please comment down below and let me know. And if you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button to see more of this face. Until next time, bye for now.